Hi, I'm Dr. Jim. Welcome to another CBD Minute. This time I have a topic that maybe you have not heard of. Many people know about CBD. Obviously, if you're checking out my blog and watching videos and whatnot, you know about CBD, you're interested in it, or you're using it. Have you heard of CBDA? All right, CBDA. This is cannabidiolic acid. And it comes from the cannabis plant or the hemp plant that contains very high levels of CBD. CBDA, it's the acid, is actually a precursor to CBD. When CBDA is exposed to heat, this is a process called decarboxylation, it becomes CBD. So you take CBDA, you heat it up, and it becomes CBD. Both CBDA and CBD both stem from CBGA, <laughs> I know I'm getting nerdy here, cannabigorolic acid, CBGA. This confer converts into three components depending upon which plant enzymes are activated. It can produce THCA, which is the acid, of THC, CBCA, CBDA, and all of these, the, the only reason I'm going through all of this with this CBD blah, 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 A, putting NA after everything is, these acid components, these acidic molecules are now being studied for their health benefits. So we might have some really interesting things in the near future here. British-based GW Pharmaceuticals recently filed for two patents for the use of CBDA in medical preparations. They suggest it may have value for inflammatory skin conditions. So it could, it could affect some of you, right? It might be something that you could use. GW Pharmaceuticals already manufactures a pharmaceutical grade CBD oil under the trade name Epidiolex which I've talked about in one of my other videos and articles, which has become the first cannabis-derived drug to be approved by the FDA here in the United States. In animal studies, CBDA has shown good results for conditions like nausea and vomiting, inflammation, anxiety and depression, epilepsy, and breast cancer. So that's why this is important. That's why I wanted to talk to you about it. It's important to stress that these findings come from preclinical. Preclinical mean animal-based studies, and the animals are usually rodents, mice, or rats. Um, not so many human studies yet. On one study of mice, scientists found that CBDA activated serotonin levels, which is a neurotransmitter vital to many things. Motor skills, eating, sleeping, digestion, and our emotions. I would say it's a pretty darn important neurotransmitter. Another study found that CNBA had anti-inflammatory effects similar to those of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs. How about that? With that, probably without any of the side effects of taking NSAIDs over time with leaky gut and stomach ulcers and everything else. Since CBDA interacts with serotonin then, there's the belief in the scientific community that this may work well as an antidepressant. Important stuff, see? Only time in a lot of high quality research using humans, more animal studies are good, but human studies are better, will be able to suggest that CBDA can become a true pharmaceutical grade hemp-based medicine for a number of conditions. Human studies will have to be performed before any recommendations can actually be made. For now, all we have are studies on mice and rats, but hey, at least it's a, it's a beginning. I'm Dr. Jim, this has been your CBD Minute. Keep coming back for more.